Today we're talking about making dates show up differently in Excel. Before we even start talking about breaking dates into their different parts and stuff, you need to know what a date is in Excel um, because it's actually really straightforward. It's literally a number formatted in a special way. And what is the number? Well, it's actually the number of days since the beginning of 1900, the year 1900. And to prove that, I've got two numbers here, one and two. And if I use the shortcut key to format that as a date, control hash, you'll see we get the 1st of January 00 and the 2nd of January 00. And if we look at the formula bar, you can see it's 1900. And so if, for example, I added um, 365, you're going to get the end of that particular year and 36,500, you should get roughly 100 years later and you do. And in case you're interested, we are currently hovering around the number 45,000, i.e. 45,000 days since the beginning of the 20th century, depending of course on when you're watching this video. So we've got a list of dates here and if I will copy and paste those into the year column, and if I hit Control-1, which brings up the uh, Format Cells um, dialog box, which of course you could get to on the menu if you like, you can see it's a custom format, and this is the custom format code. And you might have, you know, you might be various date codes and stuff, and if you go down to custom, you'll see all sorts of odd codes. But you can see you've got DD, MM, year, year, and it's coming up with this example here, and in this one, that example. So. You can actually see, well, these is months and days. So if I just delete all of that, I'll get a number 17 appear, which is obviously the format of this 17 at the end there. And if I turn that into, put another two Ys, I'll get the four digit year. So there we go, a custom format of Y, 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 give you a four digit year. Now this is particularly useful if you're talking about reporting and I'll give you a warning in a minute as to why I think it's good for reporting and probably not so good if you're going to then use the data further on in your spreadsheet. Okay, so in a similar vein, if I copy and paste that to the month and the day and this one, if I format that, so make that a two digit month, for example, and hit okay and this one, same kind of thing, the DD element will give me a two digit day. So there we go, I formatted the month, the day and the year quite straightforwardly. But we could do plenty of other things. So you probably saw as I was typing that different things were, were coming up. So let's just mess about a bit with this format. So in here then, let's try the day first. So a single D will give me a single number i.e. the number of the day. And a double D will give us put leading zeros or if required on. Three Ds will give us the day as a three digit, uh, three letter day. And four Ds will give us the full day name. So that will give a, you know, so if I did that, I get the day of the week showing, which could be very, very useful indeed. Alternatively, the same thing is true of the month, single month, single M for the month, uh, one digit, two, two digits, three, the month in terms of uh, Jan, say, and then four M's will give us the full month name. And of course, I can combine these by putting in um, D, 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 for example, and a space, dash, January, uh, or even D, D, you can put more than one in. Um, and then the Y, 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 Y. So I could do something as uh, crazy as that to spell the whole thing out. So that is a lot of flexibility with custom formats on dates. You can get it showing whatever you want, but, and it's a major, major but here, there is a heavy warning on this, right? So I'm just gonna hide this one gets in the way. And the warning is this, that these might look like numbers, right? rather than dates, but they really are not numbers. When you hover over them, you, you can actually see in the formula bar, they're still the full date. Even though it says the number 24, it comes up here as the 24th of the 10th, 2022. So if I were to say, right, let's add 20, 20, like 24 plus one, right? Now you might expect on the face of it to get the answer 25, 
When I hit enter, I get the answer 87,594. What on earth is going on, you know? And the reason is that these are just, as I said before, they're dates. If I num format that as a normal number, right, which is control shift one, you can see it's 44,000 something. And the same with that. And so that is why this is added up to that huge number. So you just got to be really careful. And that is why I say use them for reporting and presentation purposes rather than some kind of like actual piece of data. If you enjoyed that video, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to see more and give me your views and comments about what you'd like to see me cover to save you more and more time in Excel. See you soon.